So we're going to be heading out of town. And one thing that's not great about this ProClear ProStar 90 is although it's convenient to have an auto top off um, reservoir on top of the sump like this, this thing's absolutely tiny. Um, the most it gets me is maybe two days and I have to refill it. So um, not going to work for being out of town for like three to four days. So what I'm going to do is take this auto top off container out and it goes down to a float valve. I'm going to attach that float valve to a push connect fitting and run it out to a five gallon bucket um, so that I can put RO water in here and it'll last me um, top off water for the entire time we're going. So I'm actually going to use this push connect fitting that's in this tiny container. It's so small. Like I said, it lasts me like maybe two days. So then I'll drill that size of a hole, I think it's about a quarter inch, into the bottom of that five gallon bucket, screw that back on, and then just run a longer line down to that float valve in the sump. So for jobs like this, I like this, it's called a stair step drill bit. And each step obviously is a bigger hole. So you can find one quarter inch, you know exactly where you need to drill down to to get the perfect size. It's a nice snug fit. So then this, hang off the edge just a touch like this on my table. I have this side table here and that's where I'm gonna put my five gallon bucket. Have that bottom piece just off the edge back there. And then this red RO tubing is gonna come from that bucket. As you can see down through that hole and I put a push connect fitting there. So that's where I'll connect the current flow valve tubing. So while this may not be the most aesthetically pleasing setup um, with the five gallon bucket up here, it'll definitely get me through the next four days and I won't have to worry about you know, my pump running dry while I'm gone. Eventually what I think I'll do is, this is actually right next to the tank, this wall goes out to the garage. And so what I think I'll eventually do is kind of the same idea of running that auto top off float valve um, line probably through this wall and then out to the garage where I can do a really big container. I just really love the float valve because it's pretty much foolproof. Um, you know, it doesn't have the opportunity to fail like some of the electronic ones do. Um, and so although I'm hooking it up to, you know, a really big reservoir potentially out in the garage, a lot of people are fearful of doing that because then all that water could drain into your sump and overflow it. With the float valve, it's pretty straightforward, right? It's up or down based on the water volume. You don't really have many chances of failure. So that's probably what I'll end up doing in the future. Um, but like I said, at least for the next few days while I'm gone, this is gonna work perfect for me. I don't have to worry about sump running dry. The other nice thing is I had the auto top off sitting right here. That's where it goes in the system. And it just makes everything that much you know, more difficult to really access here. So it's pretty nice having that space open now. Uh, the latest example is right, I ran this dosing line here. It was really hard because it was like squeezing under that container to get to my sump or to get to my skimmer. It's always difficult. Um, but again, now with that out of the way and this more simple just line running out, I have a lot more space here, which is nice. All right, so we're all set up, ready to be gone for a few days. Hooked up the Eheim auto feeder. I have my Apex program to shut my MP40s off about two minutes before this is scheduled to jump, dump some pellet food in. I have a five gallon bucket, so plenty of auto top off water. And then lastly, I got a um, two liter for my waste of the Trident, so I don't have to worry about. I was like using a water bottle before, so that obviously won't overfill while I'm gone. We should be in good shape for about three, four days. Mm -hmm.